to White History Month. In the second profile we're going to feature is Horatio Nelson Keith. The man himself. Oh yes. Hey? The yes. man himself. Hey? I mean, yet another icon of, uh, of English history. You know, an amazing character this man was, you know. Born in 1758 in Lincolnshire. We won't hold that again. Him, no, were we? <laughs> yeah. no. What a character, though, mate. What yeah. a character. Huh? Actually, went to sea at the age of 12. It's 12. unbelievable. Yeah. And, and quickly spotted as a potential at 12 years old and made a midshipman yeah. and became a full blown captain at the age of 20. Yeah. Unbelievable. I mean, it's incredible, you know. I mean, his military history and the things that he did were legendary. He was loved loved throughout the whole of the British Navy. Yeah. You've got to remember that. He wasn't, uh, he wasn't, uh, he was a stern captain, but he was also revered by everybody that knew him. Everybody that his, knew him. His tactics yeah. uh, in battle set him apart. And he also, he was noted for disregarding direct orders. Yeah. And uh, because he disregarded him, the battles were won. It's well, that's amazing. right. Yeah. Amazing. You know, he helped captured Corsica and uh, against the advice of his uh, military superiors, but he proved right, you know, he proved them, you know. Yeah. Um, he, he was involved in the sort of attack on Santa Cruz at Tenerife, you know, he lost an arm there, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, you know? he, lost, he lost an, an eye. An eye. An arm. Yeah. yeah. He took one for, the, not take one for the team, he took loads for the team, yeah, did older ratio, yeah. you know. And he, like you say, he's... Uh, his seamanship and his uh, his military m military mind was absolutely fantastic. You know, uh, he, 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 most of the time, of course, he was fighting against your French. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you know, we won't hold that against them. You know, the Battle of the Nile, we gave him a right old pasting there, yeah. didn't he? But he 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 made a, he made one error of judgment. Mm which was going to cost him his life in the future, yeah. and was that he always went into battle in full regalia. Yeah. He never, he weren't cowering down in his cabin, he was up there where it's down, and, he got down and dirty with his men, yeah. in full regalia. Yeah. So he, he, was, he did this against advice many, many times, because it makes you a target. That's right, and he led, he led from the front. Yeah. And the reason he did that, is because he wanted to inspire his men and his men knew the crew and everybody, all other crews knew that he was there. He weren't some uh, backseat Johnny up yeah. the back of the boat. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. You know. Remember, a, a lot of these seamen were uh, uh, press men and they were just glorified pissheads, really. So to inspire those sort of men was one achievement. Oh, it was just it it was. absolutely mm. amazing. Mm. And... Uh, you know, I mean, his greatest victory, obviously, that is probably the famous for, was the uh, Battle of Trafalgar. Yep. Where uh, he wasn't just up against the French, was he? No. He was also up against the Spaniards as well. Yes. You know, now, giving them both a touch-up. Yes, now, he was he recuperated at home after losing his uh, arm, but then he took over the blockade of Cadiz, yep. where the French were holed up with the Spanish. Anyway, the Spanish came out of port, and then he engaged them at what we now know as the Battle of Trafalgar. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you know his um, uh, his flagship, the Victory, which yeah. he, he sailed on. You know, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Um, we'll talk a little bit that, about that in a minute. Um, but you know, his victory at Trafalgar actually thwarted your Bonaparte, didn't it? Yeah, that was because the the idea was to control the seas and then invade Britain. Yeah. Because that that was what it was all about. So we could we could have been speaking frog language there, couldn't we? Well, exactly. Right? If it wasn't, yeah, yeah that's right. And yeah, this is yeah. what we this is why our uh, White History Month we're concentrating on these type of people because they actually did change the change the landscape, yeah. change the world. You know. Yeah. So uh, yeah, um, he was killed by a cowardly frog sniper, <laughs> wasn't he? Yes, he was. You know, probably hiding behind <laughs> some women's skirt or something. Yeah, but he, he, even his speech to the men before the battle was very simple. Yeah, England expects every man to do his duty. Words similar to that, 
Yeah. He, he said that the signaller couldn't say some of the words. Didn't have, of, they didn't have the code for it. No, so, uh, so a very, very simple speech to the men, and the men rose for him. Didn't yeah, it? that's exactly right. Mm. Um, now, the most famous statue to him, of course, is Nelson's Column in Trafalgar Square yeah. in London. And again, your uh, cancel culture, you know, want that ripped down. They want <laughs> other statues ripped down. Uh, and actually, funny enough, in Hitler's invasion plans of Britain during the Second World War, he had plans to tear down Nelson's Column and re-erect it in Berlin, Berlin yeah. no yeah. doubt, with him on the top yeah. and uh, Nelson, because, you know. Yeah, because he... he he, I mean, he, he was a little bastard, but he was a clever little bastard. Yeah. He, he knew the importance of Nelson to the British. That's right. right. You know, he, he, to stop an invasion by sea in its tracks like that was a, a fantastic achievement and give his life that day. Yep. Now, what Nelson did, it reaffirmed. Now, you saw that you listened to the opening music. Britannia rules the waves. What Nelson did at the Battle of Trafalgar, he cemented that for another, what, 200 years, mm. you know? Yeah. Uh, um, I mean, Britain already basically ruled the waves, you know, which we'll hear about soon. But uh, but Nelson cemented that and there was nobody, not, not, mm. not a navy on this planet that could hold a candle to no. it, you know? Not a candle. That's right. And it was down to old Horatio. And Horatio, if you was here now, we'd have a little drop of rum with you. Yeah, we would. <laughs> you know? And Just again, if you want him cancelled out of history, there's the door. You can fuck off. <laughs> yes. The, right. the word hero is an overused word nowadays, but this man was a proper hero. He was. Yep. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. This has been a Blackman Space Studio production.